Hey, welcome to the sixth episode of Fun Facts. I'm David, and in this video, I will talk about most dangerous animals kept as pets. Before moving further, kindly like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. Attempting to keep wild animals as pets is never a good idea. Some of these animals can endanger human lives, while others simply fail to thrive when removed from their natural habitats. Even when raised in a home from a young age, these animals tend to maintain their wild instincts, making them unpredictable and difficult to manage. Exotic animal assaults are profoundly sensationalized and are often immediately reported upon their event. For some reasons, stories about crazy people who buy alternative animals never neglect to astonish and summon fast feelings in individuals. We should not judge animals on capability to cause harm like many lawmakers and news reporters do. We should categorize based on whether or not these animals actually have attacked, killed, or severely maimed people relative to their numbers in captivity and how these animals are generally kept. Since the early 1970s, the US has restricted the commercial importing of endangered species for good reason. Wild animals are not like your pet and may not give you a good look before running away or they could attack. Animals during rut are dangerous. Male deer have been known to attack humans that they think are encroaching on their breeding grounds. They don't recognize you as a human, but competition for females in heat, which goes for many other species as well. Now, I'm gonna tell you about a few of the most dangerous animals to be kept as pets. So let's get on to another fun facts video. Number eight, crocodiles. It is not uncommon for perp enthusiasts to purchase enormous carnivorous reptiles, but that is a significant issue, as these lizards are not comparable with having a bearded dragon as a pet. This scaled monster grows to eight to 12 feet in diameter in captivity and requires large crates that many keepers cannot provide, and you will often find giant reptiles improperly contained in small spaces recommended. Despite having deep set teeth and strong jaws, there is always a risk of bites with these generally high strung animals, leading to finger amputations and deep tissue injuries. Their saliva contains many bacteria that can cause severe infectious reactions, such as shock. Their saliva is densely populated with bacteria, similarly to the saliva of Komodo dragons. Even though crocodile, monitors, and similar lizards are not known to kill humans directly, their bites can be fatal if left untreated. Reptile keeper Ron Huff was one of these rare cases where he likely contracted an infection that he didn't seek treatment for when he was bitten. There was an absurd presentation of the story where it was implied that the animals had eaten their keeper before he died. Number seven, raccoons. Due to their well-adapted nature, raccoons have become a common problem in suburban and urban areas. Others would rather keep the cute and cuddly animals as pets. A little bandit who is curious wouldn't be so bad, would it? Be careful leaving bait by your front door though, since raccoons can be highly destructive, destroying almost anything they can get their dexterous hands on. They are notorious biters and will not tolerate being kept in kennels. These bites can spread infectious diseases, including rabies, when frightened, frustrated, or angry. Leaving them outside seems best. Number six, monkeys. A giant monkey's canines are dangerous and the remaining teeth are also dangerous. When they reach sexual maturity, monkeys are prone to dangerous, spontaneous tantrums that can catch unprepared monkey owners by surprise. Capuchin monkeys are considered to be a species of pet monkeys. Helping Hands uses these monkeys with their teeth removed to train them for working with people with disabilities. Marmosets can inflict severe injuries, but their small size makes them less likely to do so. Monkey injuries have varying degrees of severity based on their size. There are, however, a few monkeys in the old world that carry most of the zootonic diseases that can be transmitted to humans from non-human primates. There are fewer monkey-related diseases now that monkeys are no longer imported from the wild as pets. This is a farce that monkeys can spread rabies while safe monkeys could be those that are captive bred and isolated from other monkeys in a pet owning environment and are healthy, but the animals can contract serious diseases. Number five, large snakes. There is a lot of exaggerated danger associated with snakes. Although these giant snakes are pretty popular in the United States, Burmese, reticulated, African rock python, anaconda, and boa constrictors, all of them together kill only one human per year. From 1990 to 2010, there have been a total 10 deaths caused by captive constrictor snakes, one by an African rock python, two by reticulated pythons, six by Burmese pythons, and two by reticulated pythons once a month. Each victim was the owner or the family member of the owner. Though Burmese pythons are notoriously infesting Florida's Everglades as an invasive species, humans rarely die from them. Are large snakes recommended for beginner reptile keepers? Of course not, although they are readily available. Number four, wolf dogs. People may be surprised to learn that wolf dogs 
can be more dangerous to keep as pets than wolves. Within our society, although wild animals usually keep to themselves and exhibit a more cautious attitude towards humans, some wolf dogs display the independence of their wild counterparts with the loss of fear of humans typical of domestic dogs. There have been a few wolf dogs attacking people, which may be due to owners with less restrictive attitude towards raising their pets than owners with big cats. Pure dogs may have been mistakenly thrown into the list of wolf dog attackers because there is no way to distinguish these animals from wolfy looking dogs and breeders lie sometimes. When wolves and wolf dogs are properly owned by people who can provide the large secure enclosures and intensive training that are mandatory in their care, wolf attacks should not be common. A few wolf dogs have caused human fatalities. In August 1999, Four-year-old Cody Tyler Fairfield was killed by his family's German Shepherd when the animal crushed his throat and trachea. There was also another incident in which eight wolf dogs attacked and killed a 73-year-old woman, which were owned by her son. Number 3. Big Cats Several big cats have eaten people and have done so in the past. As opposed to large domestic cats, small exotic cats, which are often mistakenly regarded as being their wild counterparts, despite only eating small animals like rabbits, are not blindly accused of the same kind of behaviour. As long as the media is reporting on it, the most exciting news stories involve big cats such as lions, tigers, mountain lions, jaguars, leopards, and not cheetahs. So remember when you last heard of a big cat attack and you will realise they aren't even very common, occurring about two times per year on average. Owners and caretakers are almost always the victims. A total of 21 deaths were caused from 1990 to 2012. 14 deaths were caused by tigers, 3 by lions, 1 by a leopard, one by a jaguar, and two by ligers. Four of them were caused in AZA facilities, 15 in USDA licensed facilities, and two unlicensed pet owner fatalities. Leopards are the most dangerous of all the big cats because they are non-social, adaptable, and exceptionally powerful. Lions and tigers are the most popular big cat species with handlers since they respond better to training and human control. Simply playing around can lead to serious harm or even death for poorly trained big cats. Number two. Bears. Despite their intelligence and agility, omnivorous and opportunistic nature, bears were ranked before big cats. In addition to their strength and love of meat, they can attack humans, including breaking into their homes. Both wild and captive individuals have committed this crime. The public, therefore, has a much greater concern about escaped bears than they do about large cats, who are known to be more reclusive. As far as pet bears go, black bears are the most popular, and they are also responsible for the highest number of human deaths. Despite this, polar bears and grizzly bears aren't too commonly kept as pet animals, and people are less likely to enter their enclosures, which may contribute to the lack of fatalities from them. Let me tell you some of the bear attacks. 1. A wild bear attack killed 74-year-old Donna Munson in August 2009 after forcing its way past the wire fence. Wildlife officials warned Munson not to feed bears for over a decade. The bear that mauled her previously assaulted a younger bear she had put food out for. 2. Stefan Miller, 39, died as a result of a bite from a trained bear when it bit his neck in April 2008. 3. In 1978, Lynn Orser, 30, was killed when a black bear owned by a friend broke into the owner's house and killed her. Number 1. Owls Aside from the fact that keeping an owl as a pet is entirely illegal in the United States, few private owners can actually comprehend the level of work and care that goes into having one. Owls can wreak havoc on a confined residential home by making nocturnal noises and by causing large amounts of destruction. It's so common that even most veterinarians don't have adequate training levels to safely and adequately care for owls including the regular maintenance of their beaks and claws. At the end of the day, the majestic owl is essentially a predator. Their sharp, eviscerating beaks and talons enable them to kill prey quickly as well as attack threats, including humans. Moreover, if the idea of keeping your chest freezer stocked with frozen rats, pocket gophers, mice and rabbits, and getting up every night to thaw and slice dead animals isn't appealing, then you may not be cut out for owl ownership. Here is a tip. If you spot a wild animal in need of help, resist the urge to adopt it as a pet. Instead, contact a certified wildlife rehabilitator to get the animals the care it needs. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video interesting, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. Plus, you want to suggest a topic for the following video? Feel free to tell us. See you in the next video, and until then, stay tuned to Fun Facts.